r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. Americans. What is American high school actually like? Is it really like how they portray it in movies? You know the school montage segment of Into the Spidiverse? That's accurate for intensive magnet schools. Or just IBAP advanced programs. The movies lied. They have only been 3.5 times people have spontaneously broken out into song while I've been here. There was a kid in my high school that used to play pop songs on his acoustic guitar while walking to class. If you were in front of him in between classes it was like having your own little movie soundtrack. Superbad got the closest to an actual high school. Superbad came out at the same time I was in that age range. It hit home really. Really hard. So yeah if any of you don't know what high school in the US is like. Watch Superbad. Haha. <laughs> My high school had all the typical groups of kids. Nerds. Jocks. Beauty queens. Artists. Theater kids. The only difference was that no one picked on or bullied anyone else. It just wasn't a thing to do. It wasn't a school pride thing. It just didn't happen. In fact if you were known to bully or harass someone else. You were seen as an a-hole and it was questioned why it was so important to you to harass that kid. Edit. Wow this got a lot of responses. I should clarify that my school is in an area where the predominant culture is. Will say. Extremely focused on academic achievement. Students fear their families more than each other and any behavior that is seen as disruptive or not related to study or achievement is usually met with severe consequences both physical and mental. I remember a girl just out of the blue breaking down sobbing in class because she said she could not afford to get less than an A on a test otherwise her father would beat her. Exactly my experience. My Russian girlfriend is always amazed that everyone has their own locker. She always thought that was just in the movies. I can confirm we all have lockers. My high school has lockers. But nobody uses them except for special education students. Most of us just carry our backpacks to each class. Yes. But actually no. At least in my high school sure you have the different friends groups. But they aren't the stereotypical groups like populars. Jocks. Nerds. And such. Also there is not that kid that goes around pinning people to lockers or throwing people's books on the ground. That being said there are fights which actually are similar in the movies everyone gets their phones out and records it until a teacher or someone comes to split it up. This is probably my school but teachers are not usually pricks unless you are a prick towards them. And lunchroom food isn't complete trash either. I mean it's not amazing but it's edible. Edit. So I'm not going through all the comments and say what can just be said as a whole. Everyone saying it's a lie about the food part. Which is fine but you need to remember that we all did and are going to different schools this is just what is happening in my high school at the moment. I think it depended on your school size as well. I went to a school where there were 400 kids a relatively small school. We had our cliques but for the most part we all got along because everyone knew everyone and people were part of multiple cliques. My best friend was a nerd and a jock. We even had a group of kids who pretended they were ducking dragons and would only read the Aragorn books for book reports. If you were a dong nobody really wanted to associate with you. Because chance are the dong was making fun of someone's friend group in one way or another. My fiance on the other hand graduated with 400 kids in her class. She didn't even know everyone she graduated with let alone everyone in the entire school. According to her there were mean kids at her school who would bully other students. There was a popular jock group. And a group of kids who were your typical nerds like in TV shows. It really depends where you live and how big your school was. Because adding more kids adds anonymity to actions as not as many children would be affected by the bullying of a group of kids. Kind of like bullying on the internet. My parents said. Fast times in Ridgemount High was pretty accurate for back in the day. That being said. Now that I think about that, you kinda gross. I was thinking that I'm somewhere between that and the breakfast club and now I feel old. We had too many people to have the typical groups. My graduating class was over 800 and we had about 4000 people in the school. My graduating class was like 60 lomeo. School usually starts at or just after sunrise. You almost never see that in films. There were so many days I went to school in the dark. 
If you participate in any after school activity then you can go a solid 5 days without seeing the sun depending on if your classrooms have windows. It varies greatly depending on where you live for one thing. For example. Where I grew up. American. Football isn't really a thing that any of the schools in the area have. However. Basketball and baseball are pretty big sports. One thing almost universal is that the cliques you see in movies don't really reflect real life. Everything is a lot more fluid and few people fully fit the stereotypes. Most of the jocks, of which technically I could have been considered one. I was starting third baseman on the varsity baseball team, where I went to school tended to be of above average intelligence and didn't particularly pick on anyone. The bullies of the school tended to be your more redneck types. Our head cheerleader slash prom queen was a smoking hot blonde. Sure. But she was also one of the nicest people you'd ever meet, especially to quiet and outcast girls, and only once got in trouble when she punched a bully girl who was picking on an overweight freshman girl. Whoa. That cheerleader story went places. Not nearly as exciting and the drama is extra stupid. Plus a lot of people are really immature and I've never met a stereotypical bully or jock or nerd yet. Maybe not a bully or jock. But yeah. I've met a lot of stereotypical nerds. Personally. Every high school is very different since funding that goes to education varies greatly depending on where you live but there are still a few things that are pretty much the same at every school like drug use and stuff like that. I've also noticed that movies tend to exaggerate the amount of bullying that actually happens at the school. Most bullying tends to be in group rather than out group. Sure every school has the generic bullies that pick on whoever. But they tend to be social outcasts to the extreme themselves. Most bullying tends to be more like hazing among sports teams or the mean girl cliques snipping and backstabbing each other in turn. Most bullying is more against people close to them in the social hierarchy, like the rich popular beach is probably just gonna ignore plain Jane. She's going to spend her time backstabbing the slightly less rich popular beach instead. Being nerdy isn't uncool like a lot of movies are portrayed. At least at my high school, 9 years ago. Being smart actually made you part of the popular crowd. I think nerds being uncool is quite outdated, even for 10 years ago. Ironically. Nerd culture is now mainstream. I blame Star Wars and the MCU. Our schools are extremely unequal. Some are great. A lot are shit. I've been living abroad for almost a decade and I have to make that point pretty regularly when Europeans ask me about American high schools. I went to a public high school and we had a beachfront swimming pool. Laptops for every student. 20-25 person classes. And just overall ridiculous resources. Other schools in my city had regular shortages of simple teaching materials like textbooks and stuff. Yay we're all 6 feet 2 buff 23 year olds s. No. That's an idealized thing that isn't remotely true. The guys complained constantly about there not being any attractive girls in our school and looked shocked when girls retorted with there aren't any attractive guys either. It's exactly how it's portrayed in High School Musical. That movie is as close as you'll get. Break out into a full on song every 5 minutes. A big problem with high school is that almost everyone was background dancers or singers. And rarely ever the main characters. And you never really got a choice of when it was going to happen. So a lot of times you would have to break into song and dance. Not knowing what the hell it was about for like. 2 minutes. And all you wanted to do was finish your goddamn sandwich. Worst time was when a love song about finding your prince broke out in biology class. During the dissection of frogs. Yeah. That girl kissed a few. It got awkward. It can be quite close. The breakfast club is still quite relevant and relatable. My school didn't have one particular group of popular kids. Majority of people got along quite well and there was a lot of flow. Way less dramatic. It's quite boring. There will always be a couple of a-holes here and there. But as long as you mind your business you should be fine. Most people don't tread outside of their cliches though. As a high school teacher I would say it totally depends on the school. Movies hit on the extremes of what high school is like but I definitely see all of it daily. Just with less attractive younger people as people in high school are 14-18 and not 24-30 like some shows try to make it seem. 
Generally the jocks are still the super popular ones, they might not be dumb. But they are still usually the most outgoing and have the most friends. People still bully other people for many reasons. Wait. Sexuality. Promiscuity. ETC. But now most of that bullying is done online instead of in person. Kids are more open about drugs. Drinking. And sex but mostly just because they don't think that they can get into trouble for any of it. And unless the school has a strict no phone policy. Kids text snapchat etc constantly. There is nothing like giving kids 10 minutes of free time and having the students text each other across the classroom instead of talk to each other. It is nothing like in the movies. 90% of the student body do not look like they walked out of a book from B and Fitch. They've got acne. Are actually not in their early 20s playing a teenager. And I think there are police officers or monitors everywhere. Depends where your school was is. In an upper middle class county where most parents work for the government or are contractors for it. The A and B is common. Acne minimal. And maybe one officer per school. Nobody's in their 20s though. I can weigh in from the teaching side. The middle class high schools tend to be like you've seen on TV with a jock clique and a punk clique and a drama clique. But also a large mass of average kids just living their lives. The higher class, richer, neighborhoods you get the more of a pressure cooker environment you see in the schools. More work. Higher expectations. Identity tied closer to familial wealth and academic success than drama or geek. The lower class you get. The sadder things are. The worse the instruction is. The more crowded the classrooms are. The more the emphasis is just on getting everyone through to graduation rather than their individual interests like sports or drama. Let alone pressuring them to outdo one another academically. TL. Doctor yes. In middle class public high schools. Yup. Also across the spectrum teachers are way more competent and aware than media portrays. Almost every movie TV show set in high school has students as the protagonists. Because they're the demographic being targeted. And the clueless adults trope works well for that age range. It makes them feel smart and capable. But if real teachers were as clueless as those movie teachers. The entire education system would have fallen apart decades ago. The vast majority of the high school teachers I know are extremely sharp and savvy people. And wildly capable. The only reason it seems like they're clueless sometimes is that they've all perfected the art of managing HS students in such a way that the students don't realize they're being managed. So it's invisible to them. I mean. Think about all the times that you randomly had a quiz the day after a party that none of the adults knew about. Or how many times you had to stop talking because the teacher just happened to be standing near you in the classroom. There's a million things like that and none of them are accidents. Edit. Also teachers don't hook with each other up on school property. Some may get together, though it's super rare. But I've never even heard of someone getting busy at school. It's absolutely not worth the risk. And also high schools are not sexy places. Nor are they conducive to that kind of activity. More importantly. I'm so busy I barely have 2 minutes to take a leak. I mean. I'm not exactly a go all night stud. But even my quick draw wouldn't be able to finish in the amount of free time I have at school. It's nothing like the movies. Where I go to high school the jocks. Geeks and nerds aren't separate groups. Like I'm in a vocational computer and networking class with a football player. The star QB of my senior year joined the tabletop club when he heard about Blood Bowl. He started branching into other games. Last I heard he started collecting and painting WH40K in his free time. The US is huge and diverse and the high school experience really depends on where you live. After my freshman year of high school my family moved and I transferred from a high school that had about 1200 students in a liberal college town to a high school that had 400 students in a small conservative farming village. They were less than an hour apart but could not have been any more different. I felt like a foreign exchange student and went through a period of culture shock trying to adjust. Actually. Not really for me. It's kind of just everyone has stuff to do and there's no big group that bullies kids or a group of popular kids. It seems like everyone realizes we're all equally useless. I should mention that I'm friends with quite a few jocks. And I am a pretty big nerd. Fights are minimal and most people look down on you if you bully or harass someone. 
Everyone knows each other and so no one messes with each other because that could mess up whole friend groups. American Vandal is the closest I've seen to my late 2000s high school experience. Ignoring the whole dong drawing fiasco. Depends. In Iowa there are ice and fights but there is a lot of drama. The girls spread the gossip and fight while the boys are chill. Ducking like and subscribe.